Well, and and I've had had the experience when when my husband uses this strategy from time to time where he'll talk and just when I have, you know, my five questions that I want to ask him for either clarifying questions, he's already moved on and is on his phone looking at it as though, you, you know, we weren't engaging in a conversation. So, so you can see with, with what you're saying there, Heather, it's not about the engagement with the other person. It's simply, I need to put this out there. And once it's out there, I'm done. <laughs> And and so for those of us who, you, you know, are more emotionally developed or, or more fluent, it, it's that, that we want to, we want to bond, we want to connect, we want to empathize, you know, whatever it is that we want to do or even argue with them. We, we're not, we're not given the space because now you see them, now you don't <laughs> behind the wall. I mean, you, you know, and, and in my experience, I think in our experience, Heather, if I can speak for both of us. If you flag it to them, they don't usually resist or to, you know, you just name what they're doing and, you know, okay, I'm doing, oh, you had something to say. Oh, I didn't think you would. So it, it, because their life is in their intellect, their life is in their thoughts about relationships, not necessarily in the exchange of, you, you know, back and forth and, and conversing more about it. You know, when one of um, my husband's fa- favorite things, when you know, I'll ask him what he's feeling, and and he'll say, he'll say, you know, I'm feeling pissed off, for example, and, and I'll say, oh, and you, you know, can you tell me more? What else is there? <laughs> you know, it's like boom, the wall comes down because I'm willing to share this much, <laughs> and now you're making me really uncomfortable by probing any deeper than where I want to go. And, and so the, this, this idea with them about, you, you know, they're, they're willing to open, but it's like, yeah, sometimes it feels like you're always teasing it out of them because they are so sensitive to anything coming in. <laughs> you, you know, and, and these, these submissive people can actually be very, very rebellious and as well as passive aggressive as, you know, we can give you a ton of examples around that, but they protect their lives by not following other people. This is, this is a a way of, of being secure by, you know, living behind the wall, not letting anybody touch them to some degree or another. It's a comfortable state of separation. 